overflows, centering. It is not important what is your center of operation. Whatsoever may be the point of centering, once you are centered anywhere, you will fall down to the navel. Thus, there are two centers, the existential center and the operational center. Navel is the existential center. You may be a man of emotions operating through the heart. There must be a connection between your navel, the existential center and the heart, the operational center. The basic thing is to be basic thing to be understood about these centers is this whenever wherever and whenever you are centered the moment you are centered whatsoever may be the center you fall down to the navel if you are centered in the heart the heart is irrelevant centering is meaningful or if you are centered at the third eye, the third eye is not basic. The basic point is that your consciousness is centered. So whatsoever may be the point of centering, once you are centered anywhere, you will fall down to the navel. It is like entering the inner space you can enter from any point of center, but ultimately you will reach navel. The basic existential center is navel, but your functional center may be anywhere. From that center, you will fall down automatically. There is no need to think about it. And it is not so only with the heart center or the third eye center. If you are really centered in reason, in the head, you will fall down to the navel center. Centering is the thing, but it is very difficult to be centered in reason, in the head. There are problems. The heart center is based on love, faith and surrender. The head is based on doubt and negation. To be totally negative is really impossible. To be totally in doubt is also impossible. But it has happened sometimes because the impossible also happens sometimes if your doubt comes to such an intensity that nothing can remain which is believed not even the doubting mind is be believed doubting mind is believed if doubt turns upon itself and everything becomes doubt, then you will fall down to the navel center immediately, but this will be a very rare phenomenon. Trust is easier. You can trust totally, more easily than you can doubt totally. So you can say, yes, totally more easily then you can say no so even if you are centered at the head the centering is what is basic and you will fall down to your existential roots so be centered anywhere the spine will do the heart will do the head will do or you can also find other centers in the body. Buddhists talk about nine 
such psychocenters or chakras. Nine dynamic centers in the body. Hindus talk of seven centers, seven dynamic centers in the body. Tibetans talk about 13 centers in the body. You can find your own centers as well. There is no need to study about these. Any point in the body can be made an object of centering. For example, Tantra uses the sex center for centering. Tantra works with bringing your consciousness to it totally. The sex center will do if you are totally into it. Taoists have used the big toe as the center. Move your consciousness down to the big toe. Remain there and forget the whole body. Let your whole consciousness go to the toe. That will do. Because really on what you are centering is irrelevant. You are centering that is what is basic. The thing happens because of centering, not the place where you are centered. Remember this. The center is not significant. Instead, centering is significant. So do not be puzzled because in so many methods, in 112 techniques given by Shiva, in Vigyan Bhairav Tantra, many centers will be used. Do not become puzzled over which center is more important or which is real. Any center will do because center is not important. Through that center, what actually happens, the centering, which is important, you can choose according to your own liking. If your mind is very sexual, thus it is good to choose the sex center. Use it because your consciousness is naturally flowing towards it. And such is the situation of most of the people. Then it is better to choose, <coughs> choose this. But it has become difficult to choose the sex center that is one of the most natural centers. Your consciousness is attracted towards it biologically. Why not use this biological force <coughs> towards inner transformation? Make it the point of your centering. Concentrate the energy on the hara, the point two inches below the navel. That is the center from where one enters life and the center from where one dies and goes out of life. So that is the contact center between body and the soul. Japanese give too much enough importance to this center hara. So that is the contact center between body and the soul. If you feel a sort of wavering left and right and you don't know where your center is, that simply shows that you are no longer in contact with your hara. So you have to create that contact consciously. So I give you a simple exercise. When in the night you are going to sleep, the first 
or the first thing in the morning. It is for 5 to 10 minutes. The first step is locate the hara. Lie down on the bed and put your both hands 2 inches below the navel and press it a little. Step 2. Take a deep breath. Start breathing. Start breathing deeply. You will feel the center coming up and down because of the breathing. Feel your whole energy there as if you are shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and you just you are just existing there as a small center very concentrated energy so first step is place your hands two inches below the navel on hara and press it a little bit then start breathing and you feel the center is moving up and down because of the breathing you feel the whole energy there as if you are shrinking and you are just existing there as a small center with very concentrated energy center while you sleep fall asleep doing this that will be helpful then the whole night that center persists again and again the unconsciousness goes and centers there so the whole night without your knowing you will be coming in many ways in deep contact with that center step 4 reconnect with Hara in the morning the moment you get up in the morning the moment you get up you feel sleep has gone do not open your eyes first again put your both hands there push a little start breathing again feel the hara do this for five to ten minutes and then get up do this every night and every morning within three months time you will start feeling centered it is very essential to have a centering otherwise one feels fragmentary fragmentary then one is not together one is just like a zigsaw puzzle all fragments and not a gestalt not a whole it is a bad shape because without a center a man can drag but cannot love this is what has happened to you all without a center you can go on doing routine things in your life but you can never be creative you will live the minimum the maximum will not be possible for you only through centering does one live at the maximum at the zenith at the peak at the climax and that is the only living a real life for example there will be less thinking because energy will not move to the head it will go to the hara the more you think of the hara the more you concentrate there the more you will find a discipline arising in you that comes naturally and it has not to be forced the more you are aware of the hara the less you will become afraid of life and death because that is the center of life and death once you become attuned to hara center you can live courageously courage arising out of it but less thinking more silence and less uncontrolled moments natural discipline courage and rootedness enough for now